Hello everyone, James Lassie here, Master Financial Planner, uh, talking with everyone today about the differences between tax preparation and tax planning. If you ever wanted to know the difference, we're going to talk about it right now. Stick around. Welcome to All About Others, where you can learn financial tips, tricks, and loopholes from holistic financial planners like myself. Hi, my name is James Laster, Master of Education and Master Financial Planner of Laster Financial Consultants. If the content you see is valuable and you want to support this channel, click the subscribe button. And remember that though it may be hard, Proper planning makes execution easier. You know, there's a big difference between tax planning and tax preparation. So just so you can understand, let's talk real briefly about what tax preparation is. You know, whether you're an individual filing W-2s or 1099s or you're a business owner, you know, uh, filing your Schedule C's and so forth, you are filing taxes on all the earned income you've received. Now, uh, as you are filing those taxes, most people will take all of those documents and they will upload them and send them to their CPA or tax advisor, tax preparer, and the person that's going to be filing their taxes on their behalf. That right there is tax preparation. And the sole plan, the sole plan for the tax preparation is so that you do not get audited. That's their job. They have one job to do it. And for them to do it, they need your documents. They need to know your numbers. And, you know, there's a situation where you can use standard deductions or itemizations and so forth, uh, but they really don't do that. They have a software, they put it in, and it spits it out. They send it to you and file it on your behalf. Make sense? Well, tax planning is enormously different, right? The biggest thing that I want to share with you about tax planning Tax planning is not only beneficial for yesterday, today, but it's very beneficial for down the road, for the long haul. That's what it is. It's a plan for the long haul. Tax planning is not only looking at now, but it's looking at down the road. Well, the areas that tax planning are most crucial, where it should be done, is in the event of estate or legacy planning. You know, uh, if you have a house or your car or any other assets like retirement accounts, stocks or brokerages or investment properties, do you know where those are going when you are no longer here? Well, if you had a tax plan and if you had it prepared properly for you, yes, you do know. Okay. The other area where tax planning is very crucial is if you are a business owner, okay, if you are a business owner, you must be engaged in active tax planning. So let's say you're a business owner, you own a business, you're C corporation and up under your C corporation, you got some LLCs, maybe an S corp, maybe a couple of trusts, you know, uh, or a foundation or a nonprofit organization up under you. How can you mitigate the most of your tax dollars? How can you do everything you can do to keep as much money inside your pocket? You know, there's a, a famous Supreme Court justice ha uh, uh, Leonard Howe who said you are not being patriotic by paying more in taxes. It is not your, your, your duty to pay more than your fair share in taxes. So why do millions of Americans overpay in billions of dollars of their tax dollars? It's because there's a lack of tax planning. What about if you're individuals tax planning right for you? I would agree that it's most important for you. Most important for you. How are you able to keep more of your hard earned dollars inside of your pocket? You know, I always give the example. 
if you didn't want to pay anybody to do your taxes, you know, the IRS uh, has online where you can go and go file your taxes directly with IRS by yourself. Who does that? All right. Will the IRS tell you about all these tips and tricks and ways to minimize your taxes? I don't think so. I don't know so because I never thought to do my taxes on the IRS website, right? Most people don't think that's the first resources for them to do to go file their taxes, right? And if you're not planning what your taxes will be, you're always kind of like playing Russian roulette. So the third area, the third area uh, where I see tax planning being the most important and crucial is... Well, let's say you have a 401k, a 403b, or 457 TSP if you're a, a, a federal employee. Well, those accounts, when you turn 72, you will have to start taking required minimum distributions from those accounts. Or are your accounts prepared for that reality? Well, are you going to be paying more in taxes in retirement than you are right now? Well, that's the reality for a lot of people. So, as I say, <laughs> though it may be hard, proper planning makes execution easier. If you've watched this video and you've enjoyed the content, I encourage you to like and share this video online with your friends, family members, and community at large. You know, some of what you heard, uh, you're probably thinking, I know that. There were some things that you didn't know or some things you didn't know that you didn't know. Well, if you're in that category and you have questions, we encourage you to reach out to us at 877-8-LASTER or go to lasterfinancial.com and schedule directly with us on our calendar. Hey, thank you for watching this video and see you on the next.